What's going on guys? KW Style back with another video. In this one, I wanna talk about your bulking diet, how to set up your diet so that you can gain weight, build muscle effectively, and you can make progress throughout your entire bulk. So, as with any fitness goal, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come up with a plan for your diet because the diet is gonna get you, is gonna have the biggest impact on your results, more so than training or rest or any of the other variables. Um, I get a question all the time from guys especially about how to gain weight. So that, this is one of the most common questions I get. You know, people will say, I eat so much food, but I just can't seem to gain weight. Or I eat more than everyone I know, but I still can't gain any weight. My metabolism is just too fast. Well, you know, unfortunately, the, the thing is you just have to eat more food. If you're not gaining weight, you just have to eat more food. So, there's several things that can happen here. A lot of times people think they're eating a lot of food and they're not actually eating very much. And there are some things you can do to trick yourself into feeling hungrier and it will actually get a lot easier. Then for others who have a maybe either a really low appetite or really high metabolism or some combination of both of those, then it's gonna be it's gonna be challenging to eat the amount of food you're gonna have to eat, but that's just part of the game really so that's just what i tell everyone that look you know when it comes to building muscle if that's something you struggle with then this is something you're just going to have to accept that you're going to have to eat it's just going to be a little bit uncomfortable at times to eat more food but it's just something you're going to have to do if you want to grow and you're not growing with the, with the amount of food you're eating now that means you're not eating enough food i, I can cover more about that if that's something you're interested in, if you want to know more tricks about how to increase your appetite, how to gain weight, how to actually eat all of the calories that you need, then leave a comment below and let me know and I'll do the next video about that. But for now, until you can even know for sure if you, if you need to, if you need any tricks or anything to eat more food, we need to make sure you're actually eating the right amount of food to begin with. And that's the point of this video. I'm going to sit here, I have a piece of paper and pen so I can do the math for myself and then I'm going to put the math on the screen for you. Um, and I'm, right now I'm going to show you how to set up your calories and your macros for a bulking diet. And I'm going to do this for more of a lean bulking diet, meaning that you want to build muscle but you don't want to get really fat. Because if you just wanted to gain as much weight as possible as quickly as possible, then you wouldn't need to mess with this, you could just, just start stuffing your face every chance you get and you will gain weight fast but you will also get really fat so assuming you you want to do this and from what i have found the lean bulking approach is what seems to work best this is another one of those things where a lot of people they try the whole dirty bulk thing and then and i've done this in the past too and you have to go through a much longer period to cut back down whenever you do a lean bulk you stay a little bit leaner the whole time and you don't have to spend as much time when you cut back down. So your three or four month cut or weight loss period can be brought down to like two months. So it's just a preference, but in general, I find that for people who are looking to sustain this lifestyle permanently, that lean bulking with, you know, a little bit of cheat meals here and there um, and a little, and of course, a lot of flexibility because you are bulking so you have a little bit more flexibility than you do when you're dieting down that seems to work the best so i'm going to show you how to set up your calories and macros for a lean bulking diet and in case you aren't sure what macros are macros is just a term for macronutrients which are proteins fats and carbs those are the three main nutrients our body uses for everything but also for changing our body composition meaning how much muscle and how much fat we have so the basically you know the three main of the, of the three main macronutrients protein is mostly responsible for creating all the tissues in our body including our muscle skin organs all that stuff then carbs are our primary energy source and fat is used for stored energy it's also used for brain function, it's used for a lot of functions, hormone regulation, a lot of very important functions in the body, which is why it's important to get an adequate amount of fat, but I'll get to that. So the first thing you need to figure out is basically how many calories you need to, you need to consume 
and then we can break down those calories into the ratio of macronutrients. Okay, so before we start, you should probably have a calculator ready and pen and paper, or you can use the notes app on your phone or whatever you wanna use. But you wanna be able to write down your calories and your macros so that later you can go put that into MyFitnessPal or whatever app you wanna to use to track all of this. <clears throat> so, to just as an example, let's say we have a 180 pound male and we need to figure out first his maintenance calories before we can get into his bulking or cutting calories. So this isn't necessarily, this is a pretty accurate but not an exact science, but the general formula you can use is body weight times 14 to 16. So depending on the individual. So if you're more sedentary, then you probably want to go towards 15 or 14. But if you're very active, you have a fit, or if you just have a higher metabolism and you're also very active, you would probably want to go more towards 16. So I'm just going to go with 15, just to meet in the middle. So what you would do is you take the body weight, 180 pounds or whatever your body weight is, times 15. And that's 2,700 calories. So that would be his maintenance calories, meaning that's an estimate of how many calories he should eat every single day in order to stay at the same weight. And the way you can test this is you can just start with, you can use any number, whatever number you feel is gonna be best based on your activity levels, 14, 15, or 16. Multiply that times your body weight, eat that amount every day, and then track your weight over the course of a week. And if it stays the same, then you're at maintenance. If it goes down, then you're eating less than your maintenance calories. And if your weight goes up, then you're in a surplus or you're bulking. So you're eating above maintenance. So we've got his maintenance calories, 2,700. Now to start gaining weight, he's gonna have to eat above his maintenance calories every day. So if you want to gain weight quickly and ensure that you're gaining weight pretty quickly, you can add 500 calories. But what I wanna have us do is add 300 calories just because we're gonna keep this to be more of a lean bulk. So you would take your maintenance plus 300 calories. So if your maintenance was 3000, then you would be at 3300. So this example, we're at 3000 calories for his bulk or bulking calories. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this down. So for you, I want you to take your body weight times, you know, 14, 15 or 16, whatever number you feel is most accurate for you and get that number now, because now we're gonna use that, or we're gonna basically divide these calories up into a different amount for each macronutrient. So the first one we wanna find is protein. For protein, and for each one of these, there's a calculation you can use. And again, there's not one specific number that works best, or there's not one thing I could tell you that's gonna work for every single person. So one of the things, like for example, I, I wouldn't use, I don't have one formula I use for every client. So I, I'm looking at lots of things, their lifestyle, their genetics, their goals, all these things come into play whenever I'm considering their eating preferences, whenever I'm considering their, the calculation I'm doing for their macronutrients. But I'm just gonna try to keep it simple and use averages here, and then you can adjust it from there. So in general, for to figure out your protein, you would want somewhere between 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. Meaning you take your, say you would go back to the 180 pound individual and you would do somewhere between times 0.8 and 1.2. Now, just to keep it simple and just the kind of rule of thumb I like to go with is one gram per pound of body weight. So that would be 180 grams of protein, okay. Uh, and that's what I would suggest that pretty much everyone does for this. Unless you're just a, a really heavier individual, but if that was the case, maybe bulking is not the right option right now. So, now okay. Now we're gonna figure out, I mean, we're gonna set these macros first, then we're gonna figure out how much, or how many calories these macros equal out. But I'll explain that as we go. So for protein, we've got 180. 
or whatever it is for you for your body weight. Now the next we want to do is find the fat. So fat is another one where it's kind of a range and it's also preferential. So I tend to keep people on a on a moderate amount of fat. So I don't like to ever go low fat because fat's so important for brain health and and keeping balanced hormones and a lot of other uh, bodily functions that you would not want to go without. So. But at the same time, we also don't want to go high fat because if you go too high fat when you're in a bulk, you're definitely going to pack on a lot of extra fat. So the range is typically 0.3 to 0.4 times body weight. And based on the individual's weight, I would go with one or the other. So the heavier you are, I would go with 0.3. If, if the individual was lighter, I would go with 0.4. So at 180 pounds, I'm going to do times 0.4, so that's 72, and I think that's a good amount for 180 pound male. So we've got 72 grams of fat and 180 grams of protein. Now to figure out the carbohydrates, we're just going to fill in the remaining calories with carbohydrates. And see, a lot of people think protein is really important for bulking, and it is, but carbs are actually going to be the most important when you're trying to build muscle. There, it's kind of a, something that gets overlooked a lot, but carbs are actually way more important for trying to gain weight and build muscle than having high energy through your workouts and getting a good pump in your workout sessions than protein is. So, to figure out how to get the remaining, because remember, we're, we're tracking these things in grams for the macronutrients, but we're also looking at the total calories. So, we've got to convert this. So. Protein and carbs, for each one gram of protein or carb, it equals four calories. Then one gram of fat is nine calories. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the protein, take your protein number, however many grams you wanna eat per day, okay? And do times four. So, for the 180 pound guy, that would be 720. So 720 of his 3,000 calories are gonna be protein. So I'll write that down here. Now we're gonna take your fat grams and multiply that by nine. So for this guy, it's 72 times nine. That's 648. Okay, so 648 of his 3,000 calories are coming from fat. Does that make sense? So now we take these two numbers, the fat and the protein calories, not the grams, but the calories, and we add them together. So that's 648 plus 720, and that is 1,368 calories. So now we're gonna fill in the rest of those calories with carbs. So we're gonna take 3,000 minus 1,368. Or if you want, you can just do that number if you already have it on your calculator and do minus 3,000 and you'll get a negative, but that's the number that you would use. If that's complicated, <laughs> just take your original calories minus the total of your fat and protein calories, okay? So that leaves us with 1,632 calories for the carbs. Now to convert that back to grams of carbs, we're gonna take that number, divide it by four, because one gram of carbohydrates equals four calories. And that's 408, that's a lot of carbs. Okay, so now that 180 pound individual, just to kind of wrap this up here, for to start his lean bulk, he would be looking at 3000 calories a day with 180 grams of protein, 72 grams of fat and 408 grams of carbs. Now, if you wanted to be able to track this every day really easily, what you would do is you go download a free app called MyFitnessPal. And I'll link a guide below that'll explain how to use this and how to, how to put these numbers into MyFitnessPal. But I'm just gonna show you real quick here. So, basically, you go, once you set up your profile on this app, MyFitnessPal, you can go to goals. So go to the settings, then go to goals. 
and then there's going to be a section where it says calorie and macronutrient goals and okay it's going to work off of percentages so you might not be able to get the exact number so say you know whatever percentage you need to use to get 180 grams of fat it might end up being something like 173 grams of fat or 184 grams of fat whatever that's fine you know it being five or so off is, is no big deal so you're going to go in and you're going to put in the calories Let's see is it focusing okay you're going to put in the calories and the macronutrients in there so then whenever you go to track your food and you're tracking your nutrition it's going to show you how much of each one you're getting throughout the day and Again, like I said, I'm going to link a guide that explains how to use this, so don't worry if this seems complicated. It's actually extremely easy. Uh, most of the time, you're just going to be able to scan something you're eating and log it in here or just search for it. It's got a huge database of uh, everything you can get from grocery stores and restaurants and all that. So, now here's the important part. So your, your diet is going to change as you make progress. This, is, this goes for fat loss or building muscle, okay? And you're going to stick with the same formula basically, but you don't need to do a bunch of math anymore. Once you once you start gaining weight, you can start doing, okay, so let's say you're doing this and you gain, you know, you gain a few pounds or whatever, then all of a sudden progress stalls, okay? Whenever you stop gaining weight, that's when you wanna make an adjustment. Now, typically what I like to do is, it depends. So if you haven't gained very much weight, you can probably, you can just add in a little bit more carbs. Now, once you start to gain um, five to 10 pounds more, that's when you wanna start upping your protein. And you can also up your fat. So at this point, you are, you're in a great range to where it, it's not as big of a deal which one you change. It's more about your eating preferences. So you could up the fat if you tend to like, if you tend to enjoy higher fat foods than carbs because it does get to a point where the carbs are so high that they're, it's very difficult to, to eat all those carbs without just drinking a bunch of sugary drinks, which you don't want to do. So, but I would say, you know, you don't want to take the fat too far. So say you start at 72, you might want to, over time, slowly bump it up to where you, were, you hit 100 or so. Um, protein, again, you can go up to that 1.2 range or even higher if you want, but there's not really much need for that. But you can go up to that 1.2 times body weight range which would increase it. And then of course, you can just add in extra carbs, whatever your preference is. But as your weight starts to go up more significantly, you'll definitely want to up the protein. So, and that's how you continue to make progress is that every time you stop gaining weight, you up your calories a little bit. And by upping your calories, you're having to increase some of your macronutrients or what you can do is just go into the MyFitnessPal app, increase your calories, leave the percentages the same, and just let it just let the it all spread out evenly. So that would be the easiest approach if you're not trying to really fine tune it and get into the whole macro thing. If you just want to take these numbers I've given you, plug it in, and have the easiest way to make progress, then I would say just go into my fitness pal. Every time you stop gaining weight, add 100 calories to your daily caloric intake and stick with that until you stop gaining weight again. And the goal here on a lean bulk is to get, to gain about a quarter, you know, about half a pound a week, really. So one to two pounds a month is the goal. You're not trying to gain weight that rapidly because the body just cannot build muscle fast enough at that pace that you would actually be building all muscle and not fat. So if you're gaining weight faster than that and you're natural, then you're probably gaining a lot of fat. So just something to keep in mind. But that's it for this video. That is everything you need to know about setting up your diet, tracking your macros, and making sure that you can actually gain weight no matter what issues you've had in the past with gaining weight. It always comes down to diet, and if you're not gaining weight, you're just not eating enough. So you just have to track everything so that you know that you aren't guessing anymore and you actually know what you're eating, and then continually increasing that as you go along. And like I said, I linked a guide below it's a free download, it's a PDF that explains all this stuff in detail, the macros, uh, how to plug it into MyFitnessPal, how to use MyFitnessPal, and all that. So go check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.